Well, welcome back. This is Daniel with HCO Hunts. This is the archery portion of the gear list, and specific to archery. And it's it's not going to be a very long gear list, but um, but anyway, so I'm just going to go over a few things. First and foremost, I want to thank everyone that has joined us in the past on hunts. We really appreciate you guys being here. And uh, for those that are coming, we're excited to have you. Can't wait to have you guys here in camp. It's it's awesome. The the weather's changing pretty quickly and and uh, trail cameras are blowing up, so <clears throat> it's it's going to be a great year this year. Uh, I'm got, I've got my list here, so I don't forget. First and foremost, we're going to go over those four, four very, very important things in the very beginning of the first video. <clears throat> and I'm going to reiterate them because it's so important. First and foremost, get here at noon the day before your hunt starts. That's critical. Second of all, you want to download the app on X, O-N-X. Um, you don't have to sign in. Just make sure you download it. We'll give you our sign-in credentials when you get here. Make sure you've downloaded the Missouri hunting app onto your phone. You can buy your permits, to, uh, uh, notch your tag, uh, and telecheck from that app, and it's amazing. <clears throat> if you don't want to use your phone, make sure you've already got, you already got your tags printed out and put in your hunting bag before you leave your house, okay? and then a TMA approved fall restraint. Make sure you have that. So uh, great thing with a, a bow hunter, uh, everything is kind of geared towards you. It's uh, God made a specific breed of people when he made bow hunters. So um, that's kind of the thing you all know, uh, pretty basic stuff. So you obviously wanna make sure you have your bow. You've got plenty of arrows, uh, field tips for when you come out to practice at the very beginning. Uh, and I get the question a lot, um, can we, what kind of uh, broadhead should we use? Fixed, mechanical, whatever your cup of tea is, whatever you are effective with, um, we will, we, that's what we want you to shoot. That's, well, that's what we want. You hear those dingings and uh, that will be fixed before any hunters get here. <clears throat> so um, you wanna make sure you bring anything to accommodate that bow or crossbow to make sure that it performs at its highest level. I'm not saying you got to bring the whole kitchen sink and everything to be able to take apart your bow, but any, you know, any of your major tools that you may need, uh, make sure you bring it. Uh, if something catastrophic could happen with your bow, we have a lot of uh, bow shops around this area that uh, we def that can help <clears throat> definitely help you out. And, and you know, you know what you need to bring, uh, uh, you know, bring your quick, quick, quick release and all that good stuff. So you know what you need to bring. Uh, bowstring, all of our tree stands have bowstring in them already, but sometimes things happen and squirrel can chew them up and whatever, but it's uh, you need to have at least some bowstring with you in your pack in case you get to your tree stand and it's not there. An accessory hook, all of our uh, tree stands have accessory hooks, but again, things happen. And if you prefer the little hook, that's fine. If you prefer the, the arm that kind of swings out, that's fine too. <clears throat> You know, bring your scent sprays and your odor eliminators, uh, your scent bags, that's fine. And then some of the things I get asked uh, here at HCO is what your shooting distance is. And, you know, that's a, an open-ended question. So, and here's the best way I can answer it. In the same stand, a, we'll put a bow hunter. This is a majority of our stands. Uh, we'll have a bow hunter the very next week when it's rifle season or two weeks or three weeks. We'll have a rifleman in there so <clears throat> that all depends on what your ability is here's what we ask we trust that you all are efficient and effective and comfortable in in maintaining uh your skill level <clears throat> if that means you're not a 50 yard shooter don't shoot 50 yards uh, i am not a 50 yard shooter uh, i've never shot any deer past uh, 50 past 30 yards actually I'm not really, con I don't consider myself a, a bow hunter. But anyways, that aside, uh, we want to make sure you're comfortable with taking the shot with the distances you, wa you want to take. So that's the best way that I can answer that. Once you get out here, we will, we set up a target <clears throat> and everyone runs through their equipment, make sure it's all working right. And, you know, do you want to take a 50, 60 yard shot? You know, that's your prerogative, but we just... Our biggest thing is make sure we're uh, respectful to the deer uh, and, you know, 
make a very ethical and effective shot. So let's go ahead and go on outside. We're gonna kind of show you what we do when we when you come on, on the grounds here at HCO. I've got my buddy Zion here. This is his first year uh, with a bow. It's actually his second year hunting whitetail and he's really excited. He's always showing me pictures and things, but he got the opportunity this summer to come out uh, with me and to the woods with another student and we you know, work tree stands and I showed him kind of what we do here at HCO. So um, definitely give him some love. This is the end of the video. Um, again, thank you so much. We can't uh, wait to get, have you guys here in camp. Bye. Well, folks, this is Daniel on the camera. Zion's in front of you. This is his first year of archery. Um, he's going to show us what effective accuracy is and what we're looking for at HCO. When you get to HCO the day before your hunt, this is one of the things we do. We're at 20 yards here. We're going to shoot a decoy. We're going to make sure your equipment is up to par. You are up to par. And so on you, Zion. All right, so he's got two arrows there. Good group. That's what we look like to look. He may be a little high, but that could be an equipment issue. As long as you're able to group, you can always uh, adjust your equipment. 